it's Samantha. So today I'm coming to you with another unboxing and today I'm going to be unboxing the August Fairyloot box. Now if you don't know what Fairyloot is, Fairyloot is a UK based subscription box which comes with a book and some bookish items. I think it's really really awesome. I had my first box last month. If you want to see my unboxing video for last month I will link that down below. Now I've completely forgotten what this one's theme is so I will have to let you know when I open it. Here we go. This is the card which says everything that's in it. It is so pretty. They have the prettiest cards. The theme for this month is Dark Deeds. I'm really excited. I'm not gonna look at the rest of the card. It also comes with a unique hashtag. Now I'm not sure if it's a different hashtag for each month or if every single person has a different hashtag or a variety of different people have different hashtags but it is like a, a special hashtag. And the first thing I see here is a candle. Oh my god it's a Star Wars reference. Oh my god. If you don't know I became obsessed with Star Wars in December and it's a Star Wars candle. So the candle is the dark side scented and it's a soy candle which is great because I'm trying to buy more soy candles because they're better for the environment. This one smells interesting. It kind of smells like, I don't know what the biscuit is. I think it's like the ginger biscuits which have the cream in the middle. It smells like that. It's Star Wars reference, so of course that's amazing. So the dark side candle is from Geeky Clean. They say that it smells like Fruit Loops. Oh my god! It's something resand themed. Oh my god. Oh, this is the best. So the next thing in here is a resand scented soap, I think. I love resand with a passion. So this is the most exciting thing. It is unfortunately made with goat's milk and I am vegan, but I will use this anyway because I have it. So I will use it. It is citrus and jasmine scented. Actually, it's resand scented, but you know. Oh, I like the description on here. It says, turn on the shower and make it a hot one because you got a resand soap from behind the pages, which smells of jasmine. Next thing I see is a little poster and it says, you must be a Weasley, which is of course a quote from Malfoy of the Draco variety. I've actually been sorted into Slytherin by Pottermore, although I consider myself a Ravenclaw, but I was sorted into Slytherin four times because I created four different accounts because that's how many random email addresses I have. And every time I got Slytherin, I did like a compilation of all the questions and I got put in Ravenclaw, so I'm a Ravenclaw. But this is great because I don't have any coasters, so I always just put things straight onto my desk. My desk is glass, but it still leaves like rings of like tea and stuff like that on there, so this is great. So this coaster was designed exclusively for the box and it was by Book Otter. Next thing I see are some nail decals, which are awesome. And they've got skulls and crossbones and stuff like that, and daggers, and it's all really cool. These nail decals were made exclusively for the box by House of Wonderland. So the next thing I see is a notebook, and it says Anamorphia on it. This is really cool. It has like just random pages with designs on it, and also it has your note pages have designs on them as well. This is a really cool notebook. I really like it. <gasps> oh my god, I just saw what the book was, and I'm so excited because I was gonna order this book and then I didn't and I'm so excited that I didn't. Oh, oh my god, there's a signed book plate. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is awesome. So the book is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I've heard so many rave reviews about this book. As soon as I was started hearing reviews about this book, I really wanted to read it. It sounds so cool and I nearly bought it. So I'm really glad that I didn't. It also came with a signed book plate. I don't know in which direction this signature is. It also came with a Nevernight bookmark and a letter from Jay Kristoff stuff and a little Nevernight poster which is really cool. Oh my god, this box is the coolest. I'm just gonna read you what the flap says because I don't know how to summarize this. Destined to destroy empires, Mia Corver is only 10 years old when she's given her first lesson in death. Six years later, the child raised in shadows takes her first steps towards keeping the promise she made on the day that she lost everything. But the chance to strike against such powerful enemies will be fleeting. So if she is to have her revenge, Mia must become a weapon without equal. She must prove herself against the deadliest of friends and enemies and survive the tutelage of murderers, liars, and demons at the heart of a murder cult. The Red Church is no ordinary school, but Mia is no ordinary student. The shadows love her and they drink her fear. That sounds really interesting. Let's look at it underneath the dust jacket. It has, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a bird. I think this is a crow, I'd assume. It has like a crow embossed on it, which is really cool. I don't really care what's underneath the dust jacket. Dust jacket, dust jacket, dust jacket. Because this cover is beautiful. And yeah, that was everything that was in the box. As I said, I'm obsessed with this box. They come with so much cool stuff. And last month the book came signed and this month it came with a signed book plate, which is just awesome. If you get the fairy loot box, let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know your thoughts on Nevernight down below. I'm dying to read it, but I already have so many books that I need to read at the moment. I will probably get to that one when I'm back from Spain. That's going to be all for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye! With an another uh, Doing this standing up was the stupidest decision, because this is going to take me forever, because I need to keep on putting it back down. But let's pretend I didn't say that. It also came- oh, shit! Nailed it. If you...